Mondrian's Victory Boogie Woogie is composed on a grid structure. The lines in the vertical and horizontal directions are almost completely undistorted. My algorithm begins by generating a grid filled with squares of different colors. Next, I subdivide the canvas into a coarser grid. Along the left and right sides of the image, I divide the coarse grid squares in half, using the blue line. This is because the squares in these regions are smaller than in the center of the image. One of the neat things about Victory Boogie Woogie is that the white rectangles in the center appear to float in front of colored rectangles in the background. The color and size of objects give us clues about how to interpret how far away something is, and we can use these tricks to make this white rectangle appear as though it's floating on top of the blue and black checkerboard. My algorithm uses a third coarser grid to generate three blocks in the center of the image, as well as the blocks along the edges of the canvas. I introduce irregularities into the grid by shifting the grid lines along the edges of blocks. The smallest grid blocks create the street effect. The probability that a block will extend up and left to fill the street is determined by the distance from the center of the image and a random number. Some of the large blocks aren't colored at all, so that the underlying blocks of the fine grid are visible. Finally, if a block is big enough, there's a chance that a small block will be added on top of it, here noted in yellow. No blocks are allowed to have the same color as their neighboring blocks, and light color blocks in the streets are changed to black. Although the grid in Mondrian's original painting is about 68 blocks by 68 blocks, you can make the grid as big or as small as you like. A random number generator is used to determine the structure and colors in the image, so Mondify will generate new Victory Boogie Woogies almost indefinitely.